dear viewers welcome back to english b hani shakti unit 9 we are in the midst of discussing the poem what if by shel silvastian and have discussed lines 1 to 14 in part 1 today we will discuss the remaining part of the poem in part 2 as always here are a few points for you to note recalling the previous lesson explanations of keywords and expressions comprehensive and questions with answers summary of the lines discussed literary devices used in the poem and the central idea of the poem a series of last night thoughts has troubled the persona he wonders what will happen to him if he is dumb in school or if he is not allowed to enter the swimming pool he is afraid he may get bitten there he is afraid someone might put poison in his cup there can be other unfortunate happenings too green hair might grow on his chest and he might be disliked by all he is afraid he might be a victim to lightning the persona is afraid of a lot of things what else is he scared of let us take up the following part that is lines 15 to 20 to find out the answer what if i don't grow taller what if my head starts getting smaller what if the fish won't bite what if the wind tears up my kite what if they start a war what if my parents get divorced words and expressions that we have come across in this part are grow taller fish won't bite wind tears up my kite and get divorced let us explain them grow taller it means grow in height fish on to bite it means he fails to get a fish or fish does not bite the bait wind tears up my kite it means if the kite is torn due to forceful wind get divorced it means get separated comprehension questions with answers one what does the persona feel about his height the persona fears that his height might be stunted to explain head starts getting smaller the persona is afraid that he will become out of shape he may not grow proportionately this is indeed an absurd thinking of a child 3 what common fear of a child is found in the poem the persona worries that his kite might be torn because of the strong wind 
such a fear of getting the kite destroyed by wind is common to the kids. 4. Which fear of the child here seems to be pointless in nature? The persona is worrying over a situation such as the waging of a war. This pointless and silly thought indicates his imaginative world. 5. What interesting blend of thinking on the part of the child is found in these lines. Some silly thoughts like head getting smaller, fish not biting and serious thoughts like parents getting separated or a war might be raised are interestingly blended in his thoughts. summary of the lines just discussed. The persona is worried what will happen if his growth is stunted and his head grows out of shape. The fish might not bite his bite and he might not get any fish. His kite might be torn by the strong wind. He's worrying over a situation such as the waging of a war. His parents might be separated from each other. Worries like the waging of a war and the separation of his parents haunt the persona. Do his worries and anxieties have an end? Let's move to the next part. That is lines 21 to 26. What if the boss is late? What if my teeth don't grow in straight? What if I tear my pants? What if I never learn to dance? Everything seems swell. And then the night time, what if? strikes again. Expressions such as bus is lit, everything seems swell and strikes again are seen in this part of the poem. Let us discuss them. Bus is late. It means maybe his school bus comes late. Everything seems swell Everything is fine and alright. Strikes again. It means troubles again in the same manner. of short questions with answers to comprehend this part of the poem. 1. What is the persona afraid of? The persona is afraid that his school bus might be late and he would be late to school. 2. What other unexpected things he is afraid of might occur to him, his teeth might grow crooked, he might get his pant torn or his attempt to learn dancing might remain a dream forever. 3. What contrasting pictures can be seen in the last two lines in the extract? During the day, 
the persona is free from all these worries but they come back to trouble him as night descends four how to help the children to overcome these troubles parents and teachers concerned must give the counseling so that they develop power of will and self confidence to fight these fears The person is afraid his school bus might come late. His teeth might not grow uniformly. His pants might get torn. He is afraid he might fail to learn dancing. All such ideas continue increasing in number and he remains disturbed again as night falls. And he is stricken with all these fears again. we have come across literary devices like alliteration personification and repetition in the poem let us discuss in brief alliteration it is a poetic technique where consonant sounds at the beginning of two or more words succeed each other immediately or at a close interval here the poet has used pranced and partied that is repetition of par sound personification is a literary device where non human things are attributed human qualities or characteristics in this poem we find such example as some what ifs crawled inside my ear and pranced and partied all night long here the thoughts are personified what if is capitalized it is the proper noun here it is not what and if it is what if the word what if has been personified it is the poet's creation A repetition almost all lines in the poem have started with the newly invented word what if the word what if has been used time and again this device is used to have poetic effect the central idea of the poem in the poem what if silvas chen talks about the struggles the children grapple with they often mix up imaginary things with the reality these negative thoughts always haunt their minds during night time but how will they get rid of all these unreal things the poet warns the readers the parents the teachers concerned to counsel these children by helping them to build their will power in themselves so that they may get rid of all these what ifs This is the end of unit 9. We will be back with a new unit that is unit 10 in our next class.